Welcome. We're here doing an unboxing for the new SR10. And Deaver, he's back. I'm back. But look, we have like Lexan in between us, so that's why we don't wear a mask. So, so. we'll get fingerprints. Yeah. But anyway, we're here with the new SR10 dirt yeah. oval car. Uh, upon further inspection and, and further inspection of the specifications of this car, mm -hmm. we have figured out it is a two-wheel drive buggy chassis. Much, yeah. And it uses two-wheel drive buggy rear tires, two-wheel drive buggy front tires mm -hmm. with a new dirt oval compound. So all of your uh, AKA, Perline, or J Concepts two-wheel drive buggy tires that they have for dirt oval and the dirt oval compounds will work on these wheels if you so want them. I think these are a much nicer wheel than a yeah, standard dish really wheel. Nice wheel. But uh, we'll get into that further. So this is going to be the RTR minus battery and charger. There is a 730C, uh, which is the combo pack that includes the 2S 3D LiPo, as well as a battery pack and a charger. But we didn't go that route. We just went with the standard 730. So let's open her up. So Chris, you do the honors. I'll give you the, the side cutting devices. I'm so excited about this car, folks. Yeah. So this car is gonna have DVC, which is the dynamic vehicle control, which is essentially a gyro built into the receiver, just like Traxxas has with their TSM products. Um, so same thing will kind of apply there. But look at this body. body guy. It is so nice. It's like a short course body, but it's on a buggy, right? Because it's, so it's gonna be a little bit smaller and almost a little bit nicer scale. I think so. I think it fits a little bit nicer. Like if this was the same size as the true DR10, it would look ginormous, right? Yeah, like it would be huge. Would. So let's uh, pull everything out. So as Chris is cutting all this stuff. So first things first, we get the manual. Inside the manual, there is a declaration of conformity for the radio. Um, there's going to be your standard tools. So blind plug, um, some extra shock preload clips, some rod ends, 1.5, two millimeter Allen key, a four way T wrench, and uh, some sway bar mounts by the looks of it. Typical associated manual, nice and colorful right on the top. And then you just get into a plain Jane black and white manual inside. So nothing too crazy. They like to keep it simple like Chris said. Um, but yeah, pretty solid little manual. You get some extra stuff in here talking about how to set your DVC and uh, what you're gonna get with the XP. 120 radio so here's the the 2.4 gigahertz radio that you do get in the box you are going to get your dual rates and your trims on the knob there nothing too fancy but get you going you will require four double a's for the transmitter they do not give it to you in the box some companies do some don't you know correct, correct. so what do we got here Deaver? what Ooh, do we got beautiful car so it's got the reedy 3300 kv brushless system in there Two resale brushless capable uh, or uh, lipo capable speed controller, uh, metal gear high torque servo, uh, all metal links on there, nice aluminum bodied shocks. Yeah, so these really are the nice standard 12 mil shocks. So if you really wanted to put some of their factory team upgrades on it, you totally can mm -hmm. do that. And as Chris mentioned, all your standard turnbuckles with the nice new gray V2 plastic rod ends, nice and tight on the cup. The cool part with this is it is going to be all metal gear transmission as well. Mm -hmm. And it, steel CVDs in the back. Steel CVDs, all ball bearing as well. So no bushings, 21 ball bearings in this guy. So going to roll nice and free for you. The body, we're kind of debating here. We, we're pretty sure it's like an 86, 87 Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo. GNX, something along that yeah, line. Yeah, G-metric chassis yeah. anyway. Um, so this is common, like if you went out to the Wine Group Raceway, which is here in Saskatoon, this is what they would run yeah. primarily in the street stock class or a Camaro. This is what all the pro trucks started life as. When we built our pro truck, we actually took the body off one of these and made it into a truck. So you, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> but you went long, you went long. Yeah, so I mean, a little bit different design. Mm -hmm. So different front bumper body mount from the uh, DR10. Yes. So completely different design, new design on the front bumper mount on the shock tower, mm -hmm. new rear body new mount rear and bumper, bumper as too, yeah. well. So it's kind of a neat little car. They come in at a great like price point. Tires. Yeah, they come in at a great price point too. They're about 440 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, so you throw in a two or three S LiPo, go have some fun, yeah. right? Those I mean, some tires. Exactly, exactly. So pretty excited to see this. I know Chris is picking one up here mm -hmm. sooner than later. So you and we'll have to see some, some running footage. Yeah, it's so it's gonna be pretty neat. 
It's gonna be pretty neat. I'm pretty excited. I mean, these do look very similar to the G60s from Pro mm -hmm. Line. Very, very similar. Oh, yeah. Um, but I'm interested to see how they perform and how the car honestly handles. Yeah. I mean, my one kind of gripe about this, and we were talking about this before we unboxed it, was the body. It's only available in one color. They don't have any separate colors as of right now. So if you did want another body, you kind of are honestly stuck with this or another brand of dirt oval body specifically for a two-wheel drive buggy. I know there is people that do make like dirt light models mm -hmm. and different kind of stuff that you can put on here, but Associated only does have this one option. Hopefully they'll be releasing one in the clear options. Yeah, they are available. They are available. Uh, they think the only downside is you have to buy the deco sheet separate. That's true. So, yeah, you win some of these. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, I like how they put door handles on here. Yeah, like it's very, it's a very scale looking body for being a dirt oval car. Yeah, like, it's kind of, it's kind of odd, but yeah, anyway, I'm excited to get this out. So we'll have some more running footage here shortly of this car. But anyway, this is the new team associated SR10 dirt oval car. It's got so much great going. <laughs> Look forward to seeing some action. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.